Hello my beautiful beautiful friends and welcome back to Take Up Tarot and in today's video we are looking at the week ahead. We are basically looking at the energies of the week ahead and we have taken tarot cards, we've taken oracles so we just are going to get that wholesome vibe of what lies ahead for the week and I am posting this uh, slightly in advance because I know our friends in Australia and New Zealand start their week a little bit ahead of us so I really don't want them to miss out so I'll be posting this early and as usual we have our piles in front of us we have three piles we have three pictures so you can pick up on the basis of the imagery or you can pick up on the basis of the feathers of a color of your choice whatever calls to you so once you have your choice we shall start off with the very first pile which is pile one hello my beautiful pile one so welcome back and let us see what is it that you have for you guys for the week ahead okay so let us look at your cards we are starting off with the tarot cards here so you have eight of cups you have the fool and you have the eight of pentacles next coming to your monology card we have look at the bigger picture next we have sanctuary we have creative wonderment yeah creative wonderment okay next we have from the flower oracles we have lotus we have gladioli and from the romantic one we have make the effort and we have a retreat okay so I'm going to be reading it a little differently this time. I'm just going to be reading it in terms of the vibe they gave out. Okay, so to begin with, you know, as we really start with the tarot cards, the very first card that you have is Eight of Cups. As we begin this week that you're walking away from something, so you need that little bit of a break. You need that little bit of a breather. Possibly for you, you know, July ending or the month of July could be a little bit difficult because it has been for a couple of hours. So slow down like don't try and really jump into the week with everything you've got okay so give yourself that much needed tlc give yourself that tender care get give yourself that you know self-care before you uh, start off with something new okay so that is something that i'm really getting here and as you move ahead you are starting a new journey you know you are definitely starting on this new journey with a lot of innocence with like a beginner's heart and you're really really enthusiastic and you're really happy about it and honestly that is the vibe of august the vibe of august to me entirely is about leaving things behind that were no longer working and entering into this new phase this glorious phase looking at this new phase with a new set of eyes with this fresh set of eyes so that is exactly what you are doing so i am really really proud of you and again with that we have the bigger picture so now is the time to really focus on your future look at what it is that you want to accomplish for yourself in the near future you know so this could actually be you sitting down and you making some plans because you have the eight of pentacles here which is for me a solid work card this is about really then getting back to work really working on your skills really working hard on that project you know getting your skills right really getting better at something that you do okay so that is coming in so you could be making a lot of plans for yourself this week or you could then be you know making plans not only for the month of august but for the rest of year is also something that is possible so as you walk off from you know the week of july last week of july you need some break but once you start in like midweek onwards you are really really going to get that momentum you're really going to get into that beautiful energy of august you know that energy filled energy of august and it's going to be really really good for you also what we have here is a card of creative wonderment so you could be working on a lot of projects but some of those projects could also be passion projects or projects that you are really passionate about this could also be following your own passion which means that whatever it is that you choose to do whether it be your regular job, whether it could be as simple as cooking a meal or just this could be in your everyday life. You need to work something like make minor changes, make changes that will then, you know, suit your life. 
okay like now is the time to start making that little changes that will build up to be big changes but whatever it is that you're going to be doing this week it's going to be having that little bit of creativity it's like you know you are feeling that spark of creativity with you so you might you might be in the process of creating something new you might be in the process of really really uh, setting foundations for one of your future goals because you're really working hard at that as the week progresses okay so really think about what it is that you're passionate about or even when it comes to little things do them now with a lot of passion is what i have for you guys in this week so this week is going to be really really interesting okay next we just take the flower oracles and this again speaks about stand still for now and listen to your life which again speaks to me with the vibe of eight of cups and sanctuary so really you need to listen to your life you need to listen to what is happening which again goes with the planning element so when you stand still when you take that little break as you move away from the eight of cups situation this is a great time to reflect about what is it that you did in the last week in the last month and how it has sort of affected things so you really need to you know get some clarity about situation is also something that we have this week so you are really going to sit down with yourself and really look at your future look at how you want to spend your future bravo more power to you okay and i think because you're moving away from a situation possibly this situation has taught you a lot not only about yourself but also about your relationships not only relationships as in romantic relationships this just could be work relationships this could be friendships or this this could be you know relationships with your family and now because you're starting a fresh and you're looking at the bigger picture now possibly you have come to a realization that you need to set some boundaries for yourself and you will realize that boundaries are good and they are actually going to help you in the long run that is what it says set boundaries well to ensure good growth so especially if you're working because you're going to be hard at work and a lot of us are working from home this could just be setting boundaries with your family or people you live with like okay this is the time i'm working so i need this time for myself to really focus on things so you know this is my time this is something i'll use for myself like this is my sanctuary in a way so you know please if you could just give me that space so that is also the kind of energy that i'm getting here or even with your coworkers you know like okay this is the amount of work that i'm going to be doing and you want to give me something extra which is not a part of my work but which is your work i can only do it if i am available you know that is the kind of sense i'm getting here because you obviously are hard at work at something now do you want to take those additional responsibilities upon yourself is something entirely up to you all right and just coming to your love relationships you have the retreat part but this could also be a retreat um, if you're in the relationship with your partner just having that you know one on one time really disconnecting from the world to just connect with yourself like this new beginning in your relationship or for a couple of people this could also be the beginning of a new relationship for which you need to spend time with your partner this doesn't have to be physically spend time with your partner but to at least connect with your partner make time to connect with your partner okay so that is also something that yet and then especially if you have kids maybe you need to set some boundaries there okay when you're just going to stop being a mom you stop being a dad and you focus on being husband and wife or you focus on being boyfriend and girlfriend whatever it is and make that effort towards your relationship but if you are single and if you're looking for a possible uh, connection this week you need to make that effort you need to make that first move is also something that i'm getting and be creative about it okay while you're at it also when it comes to selecting a partner this week you might have to look at the bigger picture like really sit down and understand what kind of a partner that you seek because you know for a couple of you this could be moving away from a relationship possibly then that reflection also comes into play 
all right but overall if i just have to sum this week up you are moving away from something this could just be as simple as the energy of july you'll need a little bit of break to sort of clarify certain things to understand how you want to move ahead or just to make plans for the month of august okay and then you're starting off on this journey and then you're working really hard at something so this can also be the work of a lifetime you might be starting on a new job is also something that i'm getting or a new position at work is also something that i'm getting here but whatever it is refining your skills and doing it very very passionately is what i have for you guys this week so it's a very very interesting week for you and yeah i'm really excited to see how this plays out and always look at the bigger picture this week you know whatever situations you come across just think about how the situation or what the situation will mean to you a week from now a month from now a year from now because that is something you will have to keep into consideration as you move forward for this week and don't forget to set some boundaries all right so i'll just leave you with that and we shall meet again in my next video bye bye hello my beautiful friends and welcome back and if you've chosen pile 2 these are your messages okay now the very first card that we have here for you guys before i take anything else is what do you need to release so obviously you are starting a new month you're starting a new week so there is something that you need to release this week you know and this is very significant be because this week we have the full moon in aquarius and full moon is a great time to release a lot of things so there is definitely something that you need to release i have done a full video on full moon in aquarius so if you want you can check this out because i really speak in detail about things you need to release but there is something as we begin this week that you have to release okay now i'm just going to lay out all the cards so we can see and do not panic this could be very very related to this and this is exactly why i chose to take you know that card first so okay we we'll just arrange this and we'll take the interpretation so surrender resilience from the flower oracles we have tulip you have violet next you have forgiving and learning and engagement okay all right like i said at the beginning you have to release something and you know then you have the death card now the death speaks about transformation death speaks about change so there is something that needs to change in your life and that change is now coming so possibly because you have what you need to release card maybe you will release that something that was long due for release and that will bring a transformation to you okay now death doesn't have to be something major because i know that is one card which is very very dreaded and i really don't understand it and honestly you know this is one of my favorite death cards and the reason is you have this little girl here who's actually offering a flower to death now she in her innocence doesn't even know that this person is something to be afraid of and that is exactly how you should be looking at the death card it's nothing to be afraid of it's just a transformation that is coming into your life and transformation doesn't always have to be scary this could just be something as simple as tomorrow i decide i want to move away from the city and move into the forest that could be a transformation as well so transformations can sometimes happen by choice is also something you have to consider okay so you are definitely releasing something and one thing that is really really important for you is you need to rise above it you need to rise above your past is what i'm getting here really surrender it really give it up now this could just be your past life this could be past relationships that are still holding you this could be just past tribulations or even in some cases this could be childhood memories for certain people but you need to release something that is not working as we move in to the energy of august because as we move into the energy of august it is an entirely new and transformative energy 
okay so this is also resilience talks about moving away from past success and past failures so this is like starting a fresh starting with a fresh slate is also something that i'm getting and then this comes in very very perfectly because this is like forgiven and learning moving away from your past okay so this could actually be forgiving relationships forgiving people or forgiving situations okay but forgiveness release is basically what your week is all about okay now what is it that you need to release what is it that you need to do all the answers that you seek are within you okay so you have the knowledge of what is it in your life that needs to change what transformation needs to come about okay so that is something i see for you for the initial week of august okay and as you release this you will move past this because i see you moving past that because as you come out of that energy then you have the energy of seven of cups then you will have a lot more options in front of you like what am i supposed to do now what next you know that next first step is what is coming in so maybe you have a lot of options you have a lot of choices so you're thinking as the week progresses oh maybe i could do this or oh, even that looks good but now when this is happening you have to be very very particular about making a choice and not really stuck into the energy of okay i could do this if you could do it do it all right because even the next one that we have here is the page of wands now the page is like all about innocence page is very very passionate person she has a lot of wonderful ideas she has a lot of creative ideas and she really wants to work on them but in her innocence she she just keeps thinking about it which brings us to the energy of seven of cups so this week you are asked not to procrastinate if you have any ideas implement them okay so don't really remain stuck in your head all right so maybe what you need to release is this energy of you being stuck in your head so move out of that head space and really take action is what i'm getting also what i get is there might be a lot of things that you now want in your life okay this could all be your desires and you're worthy of them you're worthy of them all you might want to become the best doctor there ever is you might want to become the best youtuber there ever is you may want to be the best botanist there ever is but you have to work towards it and that's exactly what it is because you're worthy of your desire that is what tulip says you are worth what whatever it is that you desire but you need to take the next step towards it and whatever the next step is you already know about it because the answers are within you okay so just take that next step for some people page of wands also talks about messages messages coming towards you so this could be a letter arriving this week letter that brings some good news with it is also possible okay now if i have to take the romance cards now this speaks about forgiving and learning again so possibly when it comes to relationship especially committed relationships out here maybe there is a need for you to sit with your partner and you know really forgive each other learn learn whatever lessons you're meant to learn really open up towards each other and understand whatever it is that you're facing together and what will happen is as a result of this forgiving and learning is your relationship will deepen and then it could re- lead to an engagement now engagement doesn't always have to be a formal engagement could be for a couple of you some of you could be getting engaged this week in which case congratulations but for some of you because of this experience you could now be getting into a deeper commitment with each other okay but whatever it is you need to release your past that transformation has to come that letting go of the past has to come and rising above your tribulations has to come because unless you set your past behind the beautiful future cannot come to you you really need to understand that you need to release your past this week and we have the full moon in aquarius excellent time to release anything anything at all 
all right but overall i think the energy for the week for you is you are releasing something you are in the process of releasing it and as you release it you now have a lot of choices you are now then moving out of the situation and looking at a brighter future so that is something that is coming in for you so for the sake of that bright future for the sake of a glorious glorious future leave your past behind all right release things with this full moon and banish them forever let them never come back again to haunt you whatever it is that you need to let go okay because we are always looking at the future and working towards it in the present and you have a beautiful future because you know you have a lot of plans you have a lot of dreams and desires and you are worthy of it that's also another message here so it's all in it so this is your energy of the week and a lot needs to be done but i completely believe in you and i definitely think you'll be able to do it okay i will see you now in my next video bye bye hello my beautiful people and if you have chosen pile 3 these are your messages for the coming week let us see what it is that you have okay right okay you have two major arcana next you have work through your fears voyage new beginnings really make sense mm -hmm. next from the flower deck we have daisy and the blushing bride and from our lovers we have finances and career and trust okay now if we have to start off with the tarot cards we have the energy of the world now world is all things amazing world is like you know reaching the culmination of something it's like you know you are really completing that project that you really wanted to complete really successfully you are reaching the end of something and the end is really really successful that you really are in a happy place okay now the world also speaks about the end of a cycle and beginning of another one okay whatever it is you seem to be starting the month of august on a really high note and that's amazing okay because again with that along with the world card you have the new beginnings begin your new life so definitely it's almost like you know the month of august or the first week of august begins with freshness for you it begins with this new beautiful energy for you so that's really good isn't it now moving on to the next now you could actually be traveling this week for a couple of you because not only do you have the world card which speaks about travel but you also have voyage so you know this could actually be physical moment but for a couple of you this could just be movement in your mind like okay this aspect is complete now i am starting with this new journey i'm starting with this new career i'm starting with this new job new relationship whatever so there is almost like the start of something new and that is also a travel in itself right so that is something that is coming in and the next that we have here is the king of wands and we have the chariot so as you enter this week you really really need to have control over what where it is that you're going because you could be going right you could be going left you have a lot of directions to take now but whichever direction you choose to go make sure it is your direction make sure you are controlling the chariot you are controlling the motorcycle and the motorcycle isn't controlling you okay so the control needs to be in your hand this week all right also you have the king of wands energy now the king of wands energy is one of my favorites he is my favorites now he is all about organization he's all about planning he's all about action so it's definitely going to be a very very action oriented week sometimes he also talks about creativity because the wands talk about creativity as well but really really owning it is what i'm getting here again you have the chariot which talks about taking control and owning it okay and you also have belief and trust so you really need to believe in whatever it is that you're coming next for you and you need to believe that whatever it is is going to get you happiness the reason i'm saying this is you also have from the moonology deck walk through your fears 
So for a couple of you, you know, of course, new beginnings uh, does bring with it that uncertainty, but you really don't have to be fearsome. All right, don't approach the situation with worry, release all those fears. Go towards this with enthusiasm, go towards this with the energy of the King of Wands, all passionate about things. So leave fear at the doorstep of July is what I want to tell you. But for a couple of people, this could also be working through your fears. In spite of the fact that you're afraid, you are still going on this journey. You're new, starting anew. You're starting something again is also possible. So this could be rebirth of something. Because you know, this resembles like a phoenix and phoenix speaks about rebirth. Is this a phoenix? I don't know, but it looks like it to me. Okay. So this could just be you rising strong, walking through your fears, being that dragon. Okay. But I just feel like you're starting afresh. You, this could just be the energies of your past for some of you. So possibly in the past cycle, not the recent cycle, but sometime in the past for something that you were starting off, things have not worked out, but don't let it hold you back and don't bring that energy into this week. So release it. Okay and set intentions for what is it that you want to accomplish. Like I said, hold control in your hand this week. Also this week, what I sense is a lot of you are going to be very, very uh, into your careers and into your finances. Like your focus really could be work oriented this week. All right. So because of which maybe your love life could suffer slightly, because if you are so focused on career and finances, maybe you won't be able to give that much attention to your partner. But maybe this is something new career wise or just in your life that love and romance will not be that much of a priority for you this week. Okay. And for some people, because the message is trust, you need to be able to trust the situation. You should be able to trust your partner. Maybe this is a new relationship with a king of wands, a fire sign. This could also be a person you meet through work is something that I'm getting here. If this is a new romance, because again, you're starting a new journey. So you need to have that faith as you begin this new journey, as you begin this new relationship with this person. And don't let your past hold you back. Don't let your fears hold you back. Really work through them. Because a new person always brings with them new energy. And they should never be defined by your past relationships. All right. And if you're really busy in terms of your finances and career, I really urge you to take some time out and give attention to your personal life don't let it suffer okay because you guys are really in control this week you are in the driver's seat and you can take your life this week wherever it is that you choose to take it you are in control and believe and trust that this new beginning that this new journey is going to bring you happiness that is the message of the day see and also the last message here is your intentions and your heart deserve to be known. So I think that really speaks to me with the trust card as well. If this is a new relationship, then whatever your intentions are towards this person, whatever it is that you're going with in this relationship, the other person needs to know. Or even in current, current relationships, if there is something that needs to be known toward the other person, you should be conveying it to them. And believe that even after you convey things, it'll get you happiness. We need to believe in people sometimes. Sometimes our fears just hold us back. So don't let it happen to you this week. Either way, I really think you are in control this week. Like you could do anything you want to do. You can just accomplish anything that you want to accomplish as long as you keep the control in your own hand and not let anybody else control you. All right. So yeah, you are going on this journey for some of you, an actual journey for others, a journey in your mind or just this new journey of a relationship, career, job. And I wish you the best for it. And I believe in you. I completely believe in your ability to live the best life and be happy. I just want you guys to be happy and find fulfillment. Okay. So believe in yourself as well and find that happiness this week. 
I shall see you now in my next one. Bye-bye.